Well, here we are again. Welcome to another full moon shoot. Let's see how we get on. Midges are here, so got some company tonight. Set up again in the Fife, shooting towards the castle. So, second time lucky. We'll see how we get on. So you can see here, we've got the 800 mil set up again. New tripod, carbon fibre number, lovely. Steady at the front with monopod. So, I'm just kind of waiting now. It's looking clear over the castle. So fingers crossed we'll have a bit of luck. So tonight's setup, the 800mm with a Canon 5D Mark IV to crop it in slightly. So at the moment we are set up as 800 ISO F63 and where are we? 80th of a second. So we'll see how that goes. I'm hoping as it starts to get a wee bit darker the lights of the castle will appear. The lights with the tattoo is are on the net, I don't know if there is. As I said in the last video, if there's any fireworks, that would be spectacular if all happens, but we'll see. Unfortunately, from this side, there's a hill way, way in the distance, and that's partially visible. So unfortunately, I'm not getting the horizon completely landscape free, which would be better for uh, the moonrise. But we'll see how we go on. I could actually go down a wee bit lower down the hill here, so I'll... I'll We'll have a wee reckon and I'll get back to you. Let's have a look. So I checked down below here. But it's a bit dicey walking on foot without any camera kit. So I've decided that I'll cut my losses and save the camera gear from getting smashed against the rocks. So we're just kind of waiting now. Should be another 50 minutes top. So I've turned up a wee bit early just to try and get the last of the sunset in the castle to get focused really before they kind of lose the light so no excuses for having an unsharp image but I might have to increase the ISO and drop the shutter speed as time approaches and then I'll just let the time lapse run keep it on a fixed exposure after that so I'm hoping to maybe get five or six hundred frames between seeing the moon and the moon disappearing out of frame so that would give me about a 20 second a time lapse clip, so we'll see. Right, it's about five minutes away for starting the time lapse around, so it's looking clear as far as I can see. So, fingers crossed, it's all set up, batteries are charged, an intervalometer connected to the camera. Uh, it's believe it or not, uh, or one of the Canon cameras I've got, which is supposed to be a pro body, doesn't even have an intervalometer built in. So, that was a surprise to me after using the Nikon gear for so long. But we'll see how we go on. It's getting a bit dark now, so. I'm not sure if you'll get much more in the way of footage of me waffling on but hopefully you'll have some proper time-lapse footage uh, from the results but we'll see might even get a wee jig so you can see here that's Arthur's seat in the background so the moon should all going well rise to the right of Arthur's seat and be the full moon right over the castle if I've got all my calculations correct, which may be wrong. <laughs> so we'll see how we get on. Uh, next time you'll see me probably scampering about getting the camera set up, or camera started. So, I shouldn't be too long till you see that. Hopefully it works. 
just needs to come across to the bloody right now. Well, that's the time that's all finished. The moon's risen over Edinburgh Castle, slightly further left than what I first anticipated. But the shoot should still work out fine, so I'll get back and edit, get all this gear packed away. But quite happy with that tonight. So, good morning. We're following on for last night's moon rise over Edinburgh shoot. This morning I've come to the west coast to get the moon setting. So, it's a bit misty out there over the sea as I'm shooting towards Elsa Craig. But we'll see how we get on. I'll show you the setup just now, the angle I'm shooting from. So, as you can possibly see behind me, the moon should be setting over my shoulder just now, just to the left of the Elsa Craig. It's a fine line to try to balance having a bit of available light on your foreground. Uh, or particularly the Elsa Craig as it's not lit up at all uh, with it available light just as or before uh, sunrise so I've shot this before and it's either been cloudy or too dark so tonight or this morning it's about, just about five o'clock in the morning I, I'm hoping that you can see the Elsa Craig as the sunlight slowly rises or increases and the moon starts to drop behind the Elsa Craig. So I'll get behind the camera just now. <laughs> 